Hello learners, you're once more welcome to our learning environment and we shall continue with atoms. Now remember in our last videos or lessons we talked about the definitions of atoms, elements, we also had some little understanding about the symbols of elements. So today, we shall explore the periodic table. We shall look at the periodic table. Now, at the end of this lesson, we expect you to tell us what the periodic table is, and as well, you should be able to give some of the characteristics of this table. All right, now before us is our periodic table. Now, I want you to look at this table and tell us whatever you see. Just raise up your hand, look at it, and tell us what you see on this table. Okay, good. Someone says he's seen uh, letters written on elements. That's good. So those letters are actually what we call the symbols of elements. That's good. Thank you. Another person says he's seen numbers. Excellent. He's seen numbers. So we can find what? Whole numbers here. And we can also find some numbers which are bigger. Of course, written uh, with decimal points. That's good. Thank you. Right. Another person says he's seen numbers also up here. That is written uh, on top and, of course, on vertical boxes. That's good. Thank you. Right. So, there are also what? Numbers on what? Written horizontally. Okay. So, they are written downwards, but they represent some horizontal boxes too. So, be careful. We, are, we shall discuss all these numbers. That's good. Any other thing that you see? Okay, okay. So we also have some kind of things written here like the alkali metals, the alkaline earth metals. Okay, you can see them when you just touch them and you will see their colors brown. And these are all of them here. So these are the alkaline earth metals. And the lanthanoids are also downwards. Okay. Now, so these are also some sections of elements in that table or on that table that's good we can also find what wow look at look at look at the reactive non-metals look at them with green you see that and these are the noble gases now your next activity that i want you to do is copy any three letters they should be consecutive take three letters and they should be in sequence for example if you have uh boron make sure you copy boron carbon and nitrogen just like that likewise if you have uh, gallium you should have what germanium arsenic anywhere just copy all of them and take down these upper and lower numbers very very fast take them down thank you so observe them and tell us what you realize as far as these three elements are concerned. So you have one minute to do that exercise. When we look at uh, these few elements we've written on our board, which of course looks similar to what you've written on the pieces of papers, we will find some letters and of course these letters like what we discussed in our previous lesson is what we call the symbol of an element so the letters one or two letters are known as symbols of elements we also have the name of the element written underneath that symbol now the upper number which is usually a whole number is what we call the atomic number. The number below, which seems bigger, 
than the atomic number and of course usually appear in decimals is what we call the atomic mass good so the next thing i want us to observe is how these numbers progress are they increasing or are they decreasing that's the next thing i want you to look at now when we look at the atomic mass okay it moves from 55.84 to 58.93 and then what 58.69 telling you that sometimes the atomic mass can be increasing but at one point it might decrease when we move further to the atomic number we observe that the atomic numbers keep on increasing no matter what so go back to your periodic table check what the atomic numbers they keep on increasing so what can you say the periodic table is how can we define a periodic table the periodic table is the arrangement of elements in their increasing atomic number and of course with recurrent chemical properties i repeat the periodic table is the arrangement of elements in their increasing atomic number and recurrent chemical properties looking again at that periodic table we have seven horizontal rows called the period and these periods are usually numbered in arabic numerals so we have period one period two and right up to period seven for example elements in period three include uh, sodium magnesium aluminium silicon etc the periodic table is basically made up of eight vertical columns called the group and these groups are usually numbered in roman numerals so basically like i said we have group one is supposed to be in roman numerals i don't know why they put it in arabic so we have group one group two group three so elements in group three are usually boron aluminium gallium indium etc and of course group eight elements which are helium neon or what we call the noble inert or rare gases so those are some of the basic features of your periodic table now when we look at this table again we have what we call the metals on the left hand side of the table and as well non-metals on the right hand side and we can see that look at look at look at the non-metals with green okay there is a zigzag line that separates what the metals from the non-metals this is a zigzag line you see my mouse okay so these are the six that's the zigzag line we've also seen what we call the metalloids the metalloids in on your periodic table is uh, are those elements that behave like metals and non-metals now in between in between the groups we have what we call some kind of metals called the transition metals now these are your transition metals and likewise we also have some elements which are written with blue okay just two of them now this actually means that these elements are liquid at room temperature most of the elements on your periodic table 
are either solid or gases at room temperature except your mercury and your bromine now i will look at the metals and the non-metals i also wish to let you know that the metallic character on your periodic table increases from right to left and down the group making francium the most reactive metal i repeat the metallic character increases from your right to your left and down the group making francium the most reactive metal secondly the non-metallic character increases from the left to the right and up the group, making fluorine the most reactive non-metal. So that is that about the periodic table for eight graders in particular. And of course, uh, we also have some extra features on your periodic table, which include the lanthanoids and the actinoids. All this, you just need to know them, but you know, you don't need to go into full details as far as these extra features are concerned. So if you have any questions on what we've just said, as far as the features of the periodic table is concerned, please leave your comments below. Thank you. Before we round up, I want us to look at this scavenger hunt or this game. Now, all you need to do is to fill the table and, of course, with the help of your periodic table. I will do the last one. Now, uh, we have xenon with atomic number 54 and, of course, atomic mass 131. So, the protons or the number of protons there will be the atomic number so i just need to put 54 here and what is xenon if we look at xenon on our periodic table xenon is actually a rare or noble gas okay so we can verify that on our periodic table quickly now verifying our answer on xenon from our periodic table uh we can we can click on xenon if you find it and this is xenon here so if we go to xenon we have some basic inf uh, information as far as xenon is concerned and the atomic number is 54 the proton is also 54 so the atomic number is usually equal to the number of protons and like we said xenon is actually a noble gas so those are the basic informations of xenon as well as all other elements found in the periodic table we can also uh, if we come to this side as far as the periodic table is concerned we have uh, the configuration of xenon right so we have the electrons here we shall see all these in our future classes and this is what we call the boss atom okay the little things you find here are what we call the electrons and this is of course the nucleus where you have the protons and the neutrons so we shall see all this in our next classes thank you very much and uh, if you enjoy the lesson please send our likes and let me see your five by five in our chat box or in our comment box and if you have any doubts or worry, any question, please do not hesitate to contact me as far as your periodic table is concerned. We shall also do more on the periodic table. And I'm sure if not at the end of the first semester, maybe the beginning of the second semester. Good. So stay safe and stay tuned to our next wonderful. Thank you.